This video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to run the 3-3 Cub defense post patch in Madden 25. This is found in the Vikings playbook. And one of the most important things you can do when running this defense is use a specific package that is gonna make everything about this defense better. The package you wanna use is either the free safety one inside, the corner or the quarterback CB inside package. Now, the free safety inside package is gonna allow you to put outside thirds on your slot corner, but the CB inside package keeps the standard adjustments, but it's going to allow you to move your linebackers. And most importantly, it's going to allow you to adjust your linebackers as uh, would be the most effective way possible. Now in your coach adjustments, you really don't need to do anything specific for this defense. You can pretty much run it with auto flip on, option defense on conservative typically, and then whatever you wanna do for your zone drops. Now, there's kind of a couple of different ways to run the defense. You can run it out of a zone coverage shell, or you can run it out of a man-to-man -man coverage shell. Either way, uh, it's pretty much fine and up to you. I'm gonna show you this out of a zone coverage shell. The reason we're gonna show it to you out of a zone coverage shell is just due to the auto motion plays. If you use a zone coverage shell, the auto motion plays won't be as effective as if you were in a man-to-man -man coverage shell. So we're gonna do this all out of cover four show two, but you could use any zone cover show that you want. Because we're not running the defense on base align though, whatever zone coverage that we come out in, that's gonna be the basic shell. If we start audibly around to a lot of different things, it's not gonna give a uniform pre-snap look. And one of my biggest tips for you defensively is to make everything look the same pre-snap so that your opponent cannot identify what you're doing. They can't identify what coverage you're in. So therefore, I think the best base coverage to adjust out of is a cover four because this gives us the ability to play match coverage, but it also gives us the ability to shade underneath and turn this into a zone coverage look. So as you can see here, I'm in the bunch nasty. I just want to give you a quick tip about match coverage. So it's going to play match coverage as long as they're not in a four strong formation. So a four strong formation would basically just be if this running back was over on this side of the formation. Okay, so what you're gonna see here, just to kind of illustrate this, is I'm just gonna run a simple streak, corner flat combination here on the right side. And you're gonna see that this is going to create a match concept. And as you see, it's actually pretty good against Bunch, but just want you to know that there is a way to cancel this match concept at the at the pre-play or at the at the um, the pre-snap menu here. All you have to do to cancel the match coverage is just shade underneath. When you take these quarter flats off the field, it's going to cancel the match coverage. So just by shading underneath, you're going to see now it's going to play a drop cover for drop zone concept, which is more advantageous for switch sticking and more advantageous for not giving up big plays, okay? Obviously, the other thing you could do is you can just turn, turn this into uh, whatever coverage you want. So like, let's say you wanna play cover two out of this, all you have to do is just, you know, hot adjust these guys on the right-hand side. And again, as long as the quarter flat's not on the field, they're not gonna play match coverage. They're gonna play cover two uh, zone coverage here. And so you'll see if I run this combo, this is cover two coverage which is why that corner route's running wide open, okay? As far as the blitz, every good defense needs to have a good blitz. And there's a couple of ways that you can uh, basically blitz out of this. The first one is if you just show blitz or press for that matter, you see that it's gonna put these safeties into the box, which is really good because we don't wanna give up seam streaks by having these safeties at about that 10 yard depth. It's gonna be good for keeping not only seam streaks in check, but also the big play in check. And we can sometimes get pressure just sending this four man here. Uh, but this four man is, you know, it's okay. Another thing you can do is let's say that you're, you know, you're using this defense. One of the other things you could do is you could blitz this guy. If you contain and you move this guy out just a little bit so that he's no longer, as you see, he's no longer on a contain. Then what we can do is we can get some pressure like this. So let's say we wanted to play, you know, a cover two cloud uh, or cover two style coverage. You can try to get some pressure like this. Sometimes this guy can just come in. There you see we weren't able to get it. But I think the easiest way to get pressure out of 3-3 Cub is just blitz both linebackers. So just by blitzing both linebackers here, you're going to see that we're going to consistently be able to get one of them in free if they're not blocking a running back. This then allows us 
a simple way to get pressure out of this look. We can shade underneath and we can play, we can really easily adjust our coverage out of this. So as you see here, we get that simple five, man. It's a very fast blitz. It's got good sheds in the defense. And so you're able to do that. And then you're also able to just say, okay, well, let's just send four. And we can just play our simple send four. A lot of times, like I said, the sheds in this are really good. 3-3 three, three Cub is very similar to 6-1, uh, just in terms of kind of how it works. And then the other thing that we could do is, let's say we wanted to run more of a man-to-man -man based version of this defense. Basically the same thing. So I'm in Mike Blitz. I'm just going to put my user in a zone so I can switch stick. You'll see that this send five is going to come in every single time. As you see, we get a nice good send five. And then what I like to do when I'm running man coverage is you want to be, you actually want to come out in man coverage. So I'm going to come out in the Mike Blitz zero and I'll just show you one little thing that I like to do when I'm running this. So if I want to run this as a man coverage defense, what I like to do is I'll send three here. We could even slant our D-line outside, but basically we're just going to man these linebackers up on the tight end and on the running back. We're then going to put the outside guys in deep halves, and then we're just going to shade our coverage underneath. With this blitz user, it allows us to get better sheds. The crash outside will allow us sometimes to get one-on-ones at the defensive ends. And then I recommend if you're going to do this, that you have double or nothing on uh, that you have double or nothing on your nose tackle. I just think it makes for a better pressure system. And this is a really, really good coverage to have in your arsenal as well. If they're playing pretty much anything, and this, if anything that's not a cheap motion play, this is going to do really, really well against. And then when they do start to run those cheap motion type of plays, now we have in our stock adjustments the ability to put this safety into an outside third outside third. So let's say, for example, that they're they're doing, I'll actually go grab the play, but let's say that they're running these cheat motions. One of the things that you can do in this defense now is you can just easily automatically adjust this. So let's say you know we're setting up our defense and it looks something like, like this, right? And we see, oh, they're gonna do this cheat motion on the left hand side. What we're able to do is we can very quickly, when they go to this cheat motion, because we've shaded underneath, this cheat motion will get open. We're just gonna take this safety and put him into an outside third on that right side. And now you'll see he'll actually be able to go over there and have a chance to play that to, to play that receiver. So you have that ability within the arsenal here. Again, just shade underneath. If you wanted to almost, I mean, you could even justify like a quarter and a third or even like a third, you know, a deep half, a deep half here and then they go to this auto motion and we just go outside third and then we go middle third and now you see here and this you'll see it a little bit better you see he's able to actually play the route so the outside third is a really key adjustment in this if you want to be playing some man coverage and then another way that you can play man coverage is we could shade over top and then we could just put two curl flats out here as well this is a kind of another style of man coverage and this is a little better for the auto motion you'll see here that that auto motion won't get as open. Actually, I guess I did get bumped, which is kind of crazy. So one way you can kind of deal with that is you could play off coverage. So literally just, we're just gonna be pressed and then we just back off everybody. So we just back off the slot, back off everybody here. And then now if we want to situationally, we can drop these curl flats outside, maybe shade inside. And now let's see if that auto motion still gets open over here on the left side. If it is, yeah, and there you see, it doesn't really get open in that, in that way. I just gotta actually catch the pick but you see that we're able to be in position to be able to play the route. Another thing you can do though, is let's say you wanna send five, right? And you see this cheat motion, just back him off instantly. And now you're gonna see, he's gonna actually be able to get out there and play it and you're sending five. So these are ways that you can run man coverage post patch uh, within this defense. And then of course, if you wanna run zone, this is what I was trying to say though about man coverage guys, is let's say that you actually want to run some zone coverage here, then you need to kind of be prepared uh, just for this right here. So if you do get this cheap motion, watch this outside guy, you're going to see that he's going to go with him. And now my third is completely misaligned. So that is the real reason um, why if you do want to run some zone coverage out of this, you know, in my opinion, you want to actually be in a zone play. So stuff like that doesn't happen. Now, one way to kind of counter that would be to just basically move this guy a little bit so that he doesn't move when they do run um, you know, a cheap motion or something like that, then we can just take the safety and we can just man him up over here. And you see, we do have that blitz threat as well. So anyways, that's 3-3 Cub, or at least some of the ways that you can run this post patch. 
Cool part about this defense is the edge pressure is really good. And in my opinion, this five-man blitz out of 3-3 Cub is probably the most consistent send five, uh, just in the sense of like it's going to almost always get pressure, right? You're going to get one of these linebackers free, and then you're going to be able to adjust out of this. So you have a quick send five that's going to force a blocked running back. You have good man coverage if you want to play more of a man style. And if you want to play more of a zone style, again, I would just recommend coming out in a zone play and that'll make it a little bit easier on you. 